Hi y'all. Today is Wednesday, September 27th at 11.41 p.m. Yeah, I need to go to sleep. Now, for some reason, I'm not tired. <laughs> but let's talk about my um, budget. So, you guys, I got my paycheck. Well, I didn't get it just yet. It's going to be coming out. Um, I'll get paid it tomorrow yeah i'll get paid tomorrow i get paid a day early i do get paid semi-monthly and yeah <laughs> so my paycheck as you guys already know if you look if you guys are repeat viewers you guys will know that my paycheck i was anticipating it being low and that it is um i'm missing 31.5 hours in this paycheck um so yeah, that's what it is. So with that being said, um, I did get my bonus in this check, which was less than $300. You guys know I don't rely on bonuses for anything. Anything is better than nothing. But $300 was in this paycheck. So just imagine. Um, and once again, we are rolling over um, $300, uh, $600 from the previous paycheck. Um, and yeah, let's dig into it. So my paycheck amount was $1,051.72. The rollover we have is $600. So this puts me back to where I expect it to be. This is what my usual paycheck amounts are, around $1,500. So with my paycheck of $1,051 and then my rollover of $600, we're at $1,651. And that I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. Um, so on my list, and I'm, I'm just talking with you guys, I want to pay my rent in full. Um, but I'm still going to just put it, I'm going to split it up still. So I'm going to do $450. For paycheck number one I like to live off one paycheck per month but this month that's not happening starting in the month of November we will get back on track okay um, it was a bit of a higher spending I don't know why oh August I just let loose about my um, grocery funds I overspent with that which I didn't care about um, and I don't know what else, but whatever. Uh, so we're going to do 450. So I just have my calculator right here. We're at $1,651 and we're going to start off with minus 450. Um, next up, we're going to do my, uh, capital one large credit card. That's $30. My Dominion Power, I'm on a payment plan, so it's like consistent throughout the whole year. And but once the year comes up, if they need to increase or decrease it, then they'll do that. Um, so minus $112. My built credit card, I do use my credit card, you guys, um, but I pay it off in full every month. So I do not earn or accrue any interest. Um, so we're going to do my full amount that's due on my bill credit card is 250 And that one shouldn't be that large in the future. It should probably be like $100 less. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like $100 less in the future or $50. I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it's around $100 less. Um, and then my um, work from home Wi-Fi will be $50. So that is... So that's the first part of my, my bills. So like my bills... Um, I'm going to do it right now. I like to pay off all of my bills all at once. So let's see where that brings me. I still, when I write down my budget, I still break up my my um my bills per paycheck because uh, I do get paid semi monthly. So I get paid on the 
15th and the last day of every month. Uh, so I still like to break it up that way just in case if some bills are, if some of my paychecks are smaller than others because of me calling out and not getting paid for those hours. Um, at least I have like something in mind as to what it's going to be. So if we cover all, all of my bills with this paycheck, the other bills that we have to cover is paying my Discover credit card, which is super high. It should probably be like $300, $350 less than what it is. But it's at $400, which we're going to pay off. $400. Okay, $400. And then my Richmond Utilities is $25. All right, we got that out the way. And then um, my life insurance for me and my son is billed quarterly. And um, that will be $40. So I'm going to minus 40 Sorry for the motorcycle. <laughs> so, you guys, this is pretty good. It is pretty, pretty good. Um, so, we are still at $294, okay? $294. Tell me that ain't amazing. That's amazing. Okay. So, let me just jot this down. Let me just make sure all of these numbers are in here. 450, 30, 112. 250, 50, 400, 25, oh, come on, can it's 40, okay. Yep, and we still have $294 still left remaining. That's awesome. I will take that. So those are all of my bills for the month, okay, my bills. So you may say, Candace, what, up, what about groceries? We're going to get into that. So, yes, we do have groceries. Um, you may ask for gas. So these other ones are variable expenses. Um, they're not at the top of my list. I work from home, so gas is not an important thing for me. Um, if I don't have gas, I don't have to leave the home. But I still have like $25, $24 still in my gas category. Um, so let's think about this. Let's think about this. First and foremost... Because nothing else is really pressing right now. <sighs> Groceries, let's put aside 150 That's for half of the month. I will say we still have, after my this last pay, this last amount comes out, we'll still have like $40 left, I think. $40, $50 left um, from last paycheck and you know i was just carrying on over so that's what i'll keep doing if um, i don't use up the full 300 in the month or whatever i'll just keep stacking that money up because sometimes you know i do like to shop deals as much as possible but when there are instances where i can't shop um sales or whatever like i went to walmart and got stuff you know walmart doesn't have sales you guys it's just the price which the stuff i did get was either at regular store price or below so i was happy about that um but yeah groceries is a must right so for this page pay period from the first to the 14th we're gonna do 150 and it is me and my son Okay, it is me and my son. Gas. Okay, laundry. Because we still have stuff in laundry, but I'm going to do for this paycheck. Let me see something. Let me see. Because everything else, you may say, Candace, what about your allowance? I really don't need my allowance right now because you guys know what? I have some money coming in and I'm going to talk to you guys about that. But that's not until like middle of October. So, yeah, I'm still going to tell you guys about it. Mm. So, that's what I'm trying to figure out if I want to do anything right now. Uh. Yeah, I don't think this money that I'm going to be getting, um, it's going to be 
$150 is for another focus group. Um, you guys know um, I do fill out surveys. The one here in Virginia that I sign up for is Good Run Research. And even after the pandemic, you know, things slow down a lot. Um, I was signed up with another one. I haven't heard from them since the pandemic ended. Um, but yeah, I signed up for, um, you know, you fill out these surveys. If you're a good fit, then they'll reach out to you. For this one, they did reach out to me. It's going to be for two hours on October the 12th. Um, and yes, it's going to be $150. And you guys know we usually get compensated in the form of gift cards. So I can, you know, it's... um. $150, but I could choose like Amazon gift card, a Visa or something like that. So yeah, I'm going to get $150 on that same day on the 12th. So I'm trying to figure out how I wanted to use it. If I wanted to apply that towards like my cell phone bill so that my bill credit card um, is smaller next month or something around there. I don't know. And then, um, I will be getting at least $140 from YouTube, um, but you guys know I do give giveaways, right? I don't always state it on here, but um, I do, if I make $100, I give away $100. Um, YouTube is not my, YouTube is not for me to gain money, it's for me to share um, my life, what I go through, um, you know, this channel is just me talking to you guys. You guys don't see me do anything drastic, um, vlogs or anything like that. Sometimes I share with you what I buy, um, but that's hardly ever. <laughs> um, you know, I used to do like cooking uh, videos and stuff like that, but um, here we just keep it simple. Um, no, I'm not here to gain subscribers. <laughs> that's not my channel. Look at how I come on here. I'm not here to impress anybody. And if y'all have been here, y'all y'all already know how I rock, right? <clears throat> this is me. I don't care. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do give that money out. So I know I did give a I so when I do the giveaways, because with um YouTube, I don't get paid out every month because I have not been meeting a hundred dollars every month to get paid out. So it's been taking me at least two to three months to get paid out, um, to get to reach that hundred dollar uh, requirement for them to send me money. Um, so this upcoming paycheck is from October and September between those two months. Um, I'm at 70, like $70 for both months so far for August, September. So yeah, I'll be at 140, probably 150 by the time it ends. So what I like to do is give a hundred dollars out and then the rest of it is for me. Right. So, but, um, I do give away money throughout the month. Like I don't wait. I don't wait until I get my YouTube money to do the giveaways. I just give it out whenever. So basically what I pull it from is my rent category. Um, I have a rent savings. I don't use it for rent, but I'm just saving. I'm just saving money up a little bit by little, right? Trying to, I want to bulk it up to at least one full month of rent. Um, and so when I do giveaways prior to me, well, a month or two prior to me even getting a check I do giveaways and I pull the money from that amount and I give it away so when I do get my YouTube money I have to put that money back into my rent category so yeah so I'll have like a roughly a four forty dollars to myself uh, so yeah we'll see how that works out okay but yeah, your girl going to have some money. So we got 150 and at least 40 and maybe 50. It depends on how the last couple of days go for the month of September. But yeah, that's $200, y'all. $200 is $200. So I am thinking like myself, I'm not going to get myself an allowance. So um, yeah, but I don't, I won't have that money up front. <laughs> You know what I mean? But no, I really need to cut back on spending. I haven't spent on anything. It was basically in the beginning of the month. It was me, you know, buying myself something to eat out. 
Um, and I treated Jamez out one time. When I got Burger King, I asked if he wanted Burger King. But that was it. Um, so, yeah. That hundred that $100 went by fast. I promise you, it was like within the first two weeks. <laughs> first two weeks. I'm like, man, I got the rest of the month. But I'm just sitting at home. I ain't doing nothing. So, I've been good. Okay, so... After we do the groceries, we still have $150 left. Let's do laundry. I'm going to do the full laundry at $40 for the month. Put that over there. Um, The dogs, I won't do anything just yet. House items, I don't know. So let's do gas gas um i still got like 20 something dollars in there uh this is for this one paycheck i like to live off one paycheck y'all and we're kind of close to that to be honest if i wanted to be like real real like we won't like we can live off this one paycheck so we'll see we'll see um we shall see um yeah, because these other categories. So let's do gas. You know what? Let's just throw the gas. Let's put $80 in there. And we still have like $13. We still have like $13 in the house item category. Or do we? We probably shouldn't have any money in the house category, to be honest. Because I did go to Walmart and I bought some stuff. No, 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 no. That $13 is after. Nope, that $30, $13 is after the Walmart stuff that I bought for the house. So we have $24 left, you guys. I can put it towards the dogs, which... They won't need any food right now. And what I plan on doing is um, with the 200, what did I say? 200 or 100, it's $150 with the focus group. Um, so it's like $75 per hour. What I plan on doing is giving myself 100 out of there, hopefully. And then like say for the other amount, I can get like a Amazon gift card and I can use that for the girls like food. Okay. They have a, a thing downstairs, so they don't need anything right now, but just thinking about it, right? If they need something, I can use the other part of that for them and their food is like $80 for a 30 pound bag. Um, well, 70, I say $70 for a 30 pound bag. And those bags used to be like $40 before, y'all. 30 fit 40 got up to 50 60 Now it's like 70 It's ridiculous. But yeah, y'all. Um, between dogs and house items, let's do $30 for house, uh, $20 for house items. Yeah, let's do $20 for house items. I'm going to say dogs are zero. No food out. Jamez takes care of his own food. If I want to buy something, I'll ask him if he wants something. But, like, I don't have a category for food out right now for me and him to share. He works. And he pays his own gas as well, you guys. Um, you guys will see that I don't have a car payment. And we don't have any car insurance. Um, both of our cars, I did pay both of our cars off. And currently, um, I am paying our insurance with Progressive six months at a time. So the next renewal won't be until like December going into January. So I would like to keep that up. When you pay it in full at once, it's a discount of like, a, I think it was like 100 or 200 something around there. So if we subtract $20, we have $4 left. Um, yeah. I don't know. Let's see. 
guess what you guys you living off one paycheck that's awesome and you figure look at this oh my goodness this is crazy because you figure my Discover credit card should not be $400. It should be like $50, $60, okay? And then also my built credit card should be like $50 less. So you figure that's around $400 that shouldn't even be on there. So that's why I'm saying I can still live off one paycheck per month. But this is also because we don't have a car payment. We pay our insurance off six months in advance. But also um, the rent. So I pay half of my rent. The other rent comes from some other income. So I plan on doing with the second paycheck. I do want to start putting myself into a habit of paying my full rent by myself. Okay. Um, so what will happen is so next paycheck. A lot of things so the next paycheck is basically going to be savings so I like to save up at least six hundred and seventy dollars to go towards um, my 15k savings challenge for the year as long as I do October November December six hundred and seventy dollars that will allow me to meet my goal of saving fifteen thousand dollars for this year um, also I want to do the other half of my rent, even though I don't have to pay for it right now, I will set that money aside, um, in the savings, in the savings account for my rent. Okay. Um, so either, so yeah, so my, my next paycheck basically is me saving that full paycheck, um, for savings and I'll divide it up to just savings um, we are doing the $400 savings goal, so I will set away $50, $50 for that, if not a little bit more. Um, fun category, I didn't put anything towards that, but um, we can use my YouTube income for that, right? So that's $40. I wanted to set away $50 for that, but you know what? <sighs> we got money coming in. It's not in the beginning of the month, but that's okay. Um yeah wow you guys we actually did that i'm not going to do anything with the four dollars to be honest i'm just going to keep the four dollars in there as a buffer but let me i'm gonna turn you guys around i can't believe this y'all i'm gonna turn you guys around one moment all right you guys omg so I was not expecting this at all. So this is this, my my paycheck. Once again, 31.5 hours, almost 32 hours are not paid. So that's not in here. So, you know, once again, I think ahead, you know, with any budget, you should think ahead. Um, I believe if you know something's going to be shorter, if you have the money, just roll it over so that's what I did and I knew that it would kind of get me to the same amount that I'm used to so with this um we have the rent right we got rent we're doing my capital one large which is at 30 my dominion power as I mentioned my built credit card which would be 50 oh let me tell you guys something money 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 right so my I'm going to get like a $58 credit on my built credit card. Um so even though like my built credit card should be around like $200 per month, even probably a little bit than that, but let's just say $200 per month. The next bill is going to have a credit on there, so that's going to be like um lower next month as well, so that's awesome. Uh, we got my work from home internet 50 my discover credit card 400 it is what it is but you know you fall off you get back on track um i didn't fall off i just didn't care um i was just going through a lot a lot of stuff and um yeah and life happens but you know when you get back on track you go you get back on track you get back to normal um so yeah that should only be around 60 dollars if that um, we got 
Richmond Utilities of 25 and Life Insurance of 40. All right, so what I want to do next paycheck um, is basically going to go towards savings. So I do want to do my full rent, which is around um, 930. So next paycheck will be like 480 or at least 900. We'll see. I mean, 450. Okay, so my variable expenses, we're doing nothing for food out. Gas, we're going to do the full 80 for the month groceries we're doing 150 and then the other 150 we'll do here laundry of 40 dollars for the month so we don't have anything near dogs we don't have to do anything gas this is for paycheck number two we're getting that all done and out the way with house items we're gonna do 20 oh you know what? i could put 20 the 24 dollars in there but i don't have anything else that we need for house items so we'll be straight I'll still say zero for that. Maintenance, zero. Fun, we're going to put zero because when that other money comes in from like YouTube, um, which is like the $40 for me, um, and I just got to reimburse myself for the giveaways that I've been doing prior to me even getting paid from YouTube. Um, so I will be left with 40 or $50. Um so yeah um so we don't have to do anything for that um we'll definitely do the 500 i'm sorry nothing for the 400 dollars savings this paycheck and nothing for the 15k savings challenge so you guys Everything for next paycheck will be savings one way or the other. It's not a bill, it's saving. So me, this is this for rent is gonna be me building up my rent buffer. Um, okay, and then well, the only other bill that will technically um be a variable expense that's not savings is the groceries. Um, but my four hundred dollar savings and the fifteen um thousand savings which is the six hundred and seventy which we may be able to save off more um I know student loans are in place um my student loans are at zero for right now because the information um when I had did the re what is it recertification it was from my part-time w2 from last year so that's what they're basing it off of so yeah i don't have to pay anything until next year um we'll see if i want to do anything that may be left over with this upcoming page with the next paycheck towards anything else i do want to work <laughs> my full hours and not be almost 32 hours with no pay um, because that's just not cool but if it does happen it is what it is health is more important than anything but I need to get back I'm trying to get back to a space where Candace you don't have to use unpaid time like I just want to feel okay you know constantly um, so we'll see how how it all turns out but at least we know all of our bills are paid we have money coming in we have credits coming in i'm happy you guys we are actually living off one paycheck per month well minus this groceries but whatever but yeah we actually did really really good oh my goodness i was not expecting that probably because when i looked at it i looked at this right here but you figured that right there included my full rent as well um because if you figure if my full rent was due in this paycheck or due then yeah i would not be living one paycheck <laughs> okay i would not but that's what the buffer is for so even if let's say even if um i did have to pay for my full rent i will still be okay because i still have a buffer of like what eight 800 something dollars in there right now uh, so that's cool but yeah i want to start building that up even though as i mentioned i am only 
put towards 450 towards it. The other part comes from some other income. That other income is not going away for some time, but I want to get into habit first and foremost. Why not save up that money? Because <laughs> uh, when that extra income does stop, at least I'll have a buffer for me to figure out my next move to either earn more money to help me with paying my full rent for like a couple years or a year or so i don't know you guys we'll see um but yeah we actually are living off one paycheck uh because this as i mentioned this is what my these two things are usually what my paychecks are around wow i was not expecting that and you figure this right here these two things should not be this high that's like what for four hundred dollars extra. So that's why I'm saying like I know I can live off one paycheck per month, even if I was doing this, you guys, because if this if this wasn't wasn't the case of these being so high, I would be able to put that extra four hundred up here. Um, so that would bring us to like eight fifty, but still. I really think I will still consider that living off one paycheck per month. Um, but yeah, you guys are doing really, really good. Oh my goodness. All right. I will talk to you guys soon. Let me get to bed. All right. Bye.